All right, Mitch got his truck back. It was only $2,500. He had to get new um, valve cover gaskets on the diesel. Apparently there was a wire harness inside of the valve covers that uh, I think it has wiring going to glow plugs and something else. And some of the wires were showing signs of burning inside. So he got it back from the diesel shop and he says things are running great. He's happy. Not with how much he had to pay, but just that he's got his truck back. All right, so today I don't, I'm using the cell phone so I don't have a good wide GoPro angle view. We put the end wall here. We still have to build the front wall here, but we can't do that until we have the trusses so that we know what we're actually going to uh, have for a roof peak height. But we got the walls up. We just got this last one up. Have it all nailed in place and nailed down to the floor. And it just started raining here a few minutes ago. None of us were thrilled about that. So tomorrow we'll put the uh, header beam in that opening. It's already in on this opening over there. And it's on in this opening here. And you can see the center posts between the windows that uh, Mitch built. So we have some stuff here we just have plywood piled up against to uh, hold it in play, uh, offer some rain protection. There's some exposed wiring there. So I'll put one more little item over here to just kind of a little more weather protection. Okay. So you can see here we have the lower top plate and the upper top plate is cut back five and a half inches and that's for the top plate of this wall that'll go in in the next day or two to overlap and nail the two walls together. Okay. Yeah, we are not very happy about the rain. We would have liked to have had a few more days without rain but such is life just kind of make sure things are covered and not going to blow away okay so there you go we have a uh, large uh, living area now 23 and a half by 50 feet and the upper part will actually be 44 feet which is to the end of the walls there. Let me walk back here into the corner to get the full shot as can be with this camera. Okay, deck door off the family room and kitchen, deck door off the master bedroom, and then there will be two side walls on each side and then 18 inches out will be a little extension off the bedroom and there will be some transom windows up about 5 to 7 feet high above the bed. And these windows here are also part of the family room. You walk back here, what is there? So those are part of the family room too. And where the stairwell is, there is a shear wall on this side here. Follow the finger. And then just a regular wall along here, which the bathroom will go here. And there's a wall space in here. And then over on the other side is a desk against the wall here. Uh, just above the header of the stairs and then a doorway against the wall there in and this will be a laundry room so that will work out nicely and then 
directly below the shear wall above is the shear wall below. And I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you should. There are the HD, <clears throat> HDU2 hold down brackets, one on each end of the wall. Okay. Let me make sure we are unplugged. Yes, we are unplugged. Then we have our strapping is going on. So strapping is 16 inches above and below the rim joist. And the top of the rim joist is where the plywood seam is. So there's a few more to install. And that's the wall that we just put up a little bit ago before we left. So we've got one strap holding that wall down now. And the 2x4 bracing upstairs on the other side I showed you earlier. Don't need anyone tripping on that now. Alright. And more bracing. So things are coming together quickly. Okay. So it is uh, Thursday. And I'm going to head on home. The female's Nissan truck died again yesterday. I had to go and rescue her. So I was going to do a camping trip this weekend. And apparently that's off because I have to fix her truck again. And I think what it is is the... Fuel tank vapor recovery solenoid, and I also believe that the carbon canister needs to be replaced, and there is another control valve on the fuel tank that may need to be replaced too. So I've got a bit of work to do this weekend. Okay, so tomorrow's Friday. Should have some pretty good stuff to show tomorrow. And uh, okay, uh, and don't forget, please do subscribe if you want to watch this project being built all the way through. Thank you.